We're going to be unboxing the Rode Video Micro microphone. So before we get started unboxing, my theory and the reason why I bought this specific microphone is I'm going to be doing a lot of filming on a boat in the ocean. And the last time I did a shoot like this, we had a lot of wind noise. My current microphone is the Rode Video Mic Go. And with the size of this microphone, the wind noise that we got out of the recording was quite bad and a lot of the audio we couldn't use. So my theory on going with the Rode Video Micro is that with the smaller size and the windshield, we're going to get less wind noise from the recording. Once I have unboxed and started using this microphone, I will do a wind test for you. And once that video is up, we will have a link to it right here so you can check out the wind test and see if my theory does actually work. Before that video is up though, I would like to know from you, do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the smaller microphone is going to make a difference with the wind noise? Or do you think we're still going to get that horrible wind noise coming and messing up our audio? So let's get right into the unboxing. This has just arrived today, so quite excited to check it out. So there it is right there, it's quite a nice looking box and setup. I've been using Rode microphones for about three years now and I've been very happy with them. My Rode Video Mic Go did start messing around a bit and giving us some funny noises but I have seen quite a few people that that has happened to and it's just a problem with the connection, if you get that connection right then it's all okay but quite excited to unbox this and see what it's like. There's our awesome windshield. It's got a sweet little mohawk on the top there. And if we take that off very carefully, there is the microphone. So that is what I'm talking about. Look how small that size is compared to the other microphones. Really excited to test that out. Got to register the product for the warranty. There's the shoe to take away the vibrations and the sounds and the connector cable. The absorber and the quick start guide which probably won't be used. For any reading instructions I'd rather just test it out. Tight fit to get that windshield over the top but it's probably good that it's a Probably a good thing that it's tight so it doesn't come off. Get it connected. That clip's quite tight. Also probably a good thing. And there we have it. Our new microphone is up and ready to go. Probably better that way. So what we're going to do now is let's get this microphone on the camera and see if you can hear the difference in the sound between our current microphone and this microphone. And then we'll do a little sound test on what it's like with no microphone and this microphone on. So let's get this on the camera. So now we have the Rode Video Micro on the camera and can you hear the difference? What do you think is the difference and is it better or is it worse? Let us know in the comments below. I'll have a look at it once I've started editing it. But really excited to start using this microphone and check out what it's like. It's a really nice reasonable price for a microphone to get you started with some good sound on your YouTube videos. So if you're just getting started out on YouTube and you don't want to fork out too much money, then this is a great microphone to start with. It's super cheap and it's not going to set you back a lot. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below that you can check out for my fellow South Africans who can't order through Amazon because it takes too long because our postal service can't deliver items from Amazon so I'll leave a special link for you guys on where you can get hold of a video micro. 
Before you go, I wanted to do a quick test and see what it's like. Comparing the on-camera microphone to the Video Micro to the Rode Video Mic Go and see if you guys can tell the difference. And if you can hear the difference, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of the different sounds. So this is on-camera microphone right now. This is the Video Micro sound test and it has the windshield on it at the moment. This is the Video Mic Go without a windshield on it. Can you hear a difference? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this quick video of the unboxing of the Rode Video Micro. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We create new videos every single day, helping you get started on YouTube and grow your audience. So if you're a photographer and you're interested in learning how to YouTube, hit that red subscribe button and click on the bell to turn on notifications. And we'll see you in the next one.